We are here at Electronica 2024 in Munich and we've stopped by the Red Pattaya stand and we're going to be talking about the click board they have which is an expansion for their Red Pattaya range and it's something you might find somewhat familiar because we have already put out a video on the channel about it. Robin has put out a product of the week all about the click board and if you want to go into the real details of it we will leave a link to that under this video but I'm joined by Nick from Red Pattaya. So we have the click board now on top of the Red Pattaya which is something we've talked about is the sort of everything Swiss Army knife in a box for engineers you can do a huge amount with it um, and we have a few videos about it already what specifically about the click shield what was the idea behind coming up with yeah. the click shield for red pataya the main idea the main idea is to add even more functionality to the swiss army knife if yeah. you can believe it so it actually serves a double purpose the first one it's actually allowing multiple red pitai units to be connected together mm -hmm. in order to have a face synchronized multi-channel measurement system mm -hmm. Right, so you have here some IP4 connector, mm -hmm. some IPEX connectors that um, allows you to transmit the clock information and the trigger information to other click shields that are plugged into other Red Pitaya units. Okay. And uh, the nice thing about this click shield is that it recovers the clock shape mm -hmm. of the signal, right? Okay. So if you have like a really long system yeah. with, a, like, I don't know, 50 channels or more, mm -hmm. Uh, it's really good because then it will help with the clock jitter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's not the only thing. Maybe you notice these uh, green plugs here. These these plugs. So these are uh, to do with the sensors here. These are microelectronica sensors, mm -hmm. and you can plug two sensors at the same time, mm -hmm. and uh, you can use them additional in your Red Pitaya measurements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and these clickboards are things that we've, we've seen before. The, uh, the sockets for clickboards are things that we see on uh, uh, obviously lots of different devices. Um, but with these clickboards here, there's a number of things that are sort of interesting about them. So, I mean, firstly, um, are, we, are we talking about just sensors here or is there a variety of stuff that could potentially work uh, with them? And also, is, is this the full range of clickboards available or are yeah. there more that you can get a hold of? That's a very good question. So, no, it's not only sensors. All together, they have more than 1,500 different boards, mm -hmm. which means any kind of sensor you have in mind, for sure they have it. Yeah. But they also have like GPS uh, shields, they have uh, color sensors, they have motor control, they have voice control, yeah. and all sorts of different machine interfaces like LoRa communication buses, mm -hmm. yeah. CAN buses, any, yeah, any kind of gadget. And plus, I think they are uh, outputting new sensors every month or so. Sure, yeah, yeah. If you subscribe to them, you will get a lot of, of emails. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And, um, and I guess the only other the question here really is that um, alongside the, the new clickboard here and that uh, there is a, a button and it says here, what does the button do? So what do you have set up here? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a simple program uh, written in Python mm -hmm. to interface with the click shield, which has a, a simple button. Uh, connected to it right now mm -hmm. and this will test your reaction time right mm -hmm. so depending uh, on uh, how young you are and how many beers you had maybe <laughs> this day people have the chance at the end of the show to win a red pita if they will have the fastest reaction time so Fantastic. if we have some uh, F1 pilots here, for sure they will. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. If you're an F1 driver at Electronica and you would like to win a red pataya, you'll definitely want to stop by here. And as I previously mentioned, we have covered the click shield on the channel before. If you'd like to see a full rundown from Robin, our in-house engineer, you can find that just there. And yes, uh, the red pataya, as we've previously mentioned, is very much a Swiss army knife. The addition of being able to use click boards with it is just a really easy way to get any kind of prototype or test setup or any kind of measurement setup up and running very quickly. There's a reason why we keep coming back into talking to Rebitaya quite often. We really love what they do. And if you'd like to find out more about anything we've just talked about, you'll find the links under this video.